Morning guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday and um, I'm not in my ordinary spot. You know, I do Q&As, I do questions, answer, questions and answers. I do videos on the weekends on IT, information technology. But currently I'm traveling, I'm not, I'm not at home. I'm in Dallas right now, so you see I'm in a hotel right now. I can show you around if you don't mind. Let me show you around. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. So I'm in a hotel right now, so um, I should be back next week on Friday night, hopefully. So this is a question and answers Q&A. So if you want to listen to this introduction, 40 seconds ahead, just skip over. So basically, this is a question that people, a bunch of people have been asking, like, um, what are what are what are common questions that they will ask you on a, on a job interview? And I'm, I'm going to make a video on that, but I'm just going to go over it like in, in simple terms as possible, not complicated. And basically, um, coffee. Okay, I, I run on coffee, you know that already. So basically, um, the, the, they want to know like what kinds of, what kind of questions people will ask you while, when you go to a job interview. And I, and I, and I, and I tell people it could be a very tricky because every company is different. It doesn't matter, no matter what organization you go to, or no matter what company you work at, every company is different. So if you're doing IT support, technical support, help desk or desktop support, typically they ask you personality questions. Um, that's number one. Number one is personality questions. So it would be something like, uh, tell me about yourself, what's your name, what's your strongest, what's your, what's your greatest strength, what's your weakest strength, Questions like that, usually they give you questions like that. They ask you personality questions. And the reason they do that is not to insult you or anything. They do that to see if you fit well with the with the company, with the culture of the company. Because every company has their own culture and diversity. They're very diversified and they want things to be, they don't want someone that comes in the company and basically they, they, uh, they rot the company to the core. That makes sense, like basically, they're like they're, they're like a, a, an annoying headache for the company. So they they want to do personality they do personality questions because they want to see if you fit well with the role, with the job description, with the company as a whole, and everything else. That makes sense. So those are the type of questions you will you will be asked. Um, another scenario would be like my resume. Like the manager will look at your resume, and then they'll start asking you a bunch of questions about your resume. Oh, I see you worked here. Why did why you only worked here for six months? Why you only worked here for three months? What you doing this job? Or, um, tell me, uh, tell me, uh, tell me a typical day at your job. Blah blah blah. You know, like stuff like that. So, those are the kind of questions you will be asked. Um, that's scenario number two. Scenario number three, they will ask you questions like um, questions like IT questions or technical questions. They start asking you um, like, what is IP before? What is uh, what is I what is IP config? Um, they, they, they start asking you a bunch of technical questions. But you have to remember, you have to remember when you answer any of these questions, depends who's interviewing you. So remember these two things. These are, two th these are the two important things you have to remember. Or um, actually, that yeah, two, two important things. So um, the first thing you need to remember, remember is that when you're answering technical questions, you need to see if it's an HR person or it's a manager from IT. Why is that important? That's very important because Depending on who you're interviewing or who's, uh, depending who you're working with the interview, sorry, um, you have to answer the question based on that. So if it's a person that's not technical at all and they don't know what the hell you're saying, they're like, what the hell is he talking about? You know, you have to explain it. You got to explain the answer as if you're talking to your mom and dad or your grandfather or your grandmother, if that makes sense. So if, you, if you're talking to an HR, HR person or someone that's not technical, you want to explain it. In, uh, you want to explain it in a way that it, that's like basically talking to your talking to your grandma, your mom, your dad. That's basically how you you explain the answer to a question. So if it's not an HR person, if it's an IT person, then you don't do that. Instead, you act you answer the question technical, but in a in an example in an example technical. So what does that mean? So like you ask them a question like, oh. Um, um, what is IPv config or what is what what is an IP address? An IP is internet it, internet protocol. Um, every computer gets an IP address. So basically, when they get an IP address, um, it's like ten nine whatever you know. 
it, it, it basically it, they're connecting to the network they connect to the internet so if, an, if a manager asks you like give me an example of internet protocol ip or whatever you know you tell them oh i had, I had a user that the computer wasn't the computer wasn't plugged in <clears throat> and basically they'll call me because their computer is not on the internet they open outlook outlook does not want to open uh, outlook's just stuck it's just trying to open and it doesn't do anything. And he closes it out, reopens it again, and it's stuck. And um, <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, troubleshooting with him on the phone. And it turns out to be a physical issue. So I had to physically go there. So I went I went to his office. I knocked the door. I'm, hey, how you doing? Morning. And I went in there. Hey, how's it going? How's, how's everything? Oh, my computer's not working. And then when you when, when you when you want to narrow down the issue, you're like, what do you mean your computer's not working? Your app's not working. The computer's not on. Um, a certain thing is not working, the keyboard is not working, mouse is not working, you know, you want to ask all these questions, but you want to get straight to the point. So, you know, if, if, a, if it says a computer is not working, it can mean a lot of things. It can't just mean like, you know, it can't just be one thing. It can mean a lot of things. It'd be like, oh, this app's not working, or mouse is not working, keyboard's not working, my monitor's not working, you know, it could be a lot, a lot of different things. So you want to add, narrow it down and ask them, oh, no, my internet is not working. All right, so this is a different issue. My internet is not working. So I went to him. And I, I noticed that at the bottom right hand side, there was a little red X icon, which basically is a PC icon with a red X. So usually that means there's no internet. So he's not having any internet. I'm like, huh, that's strange. So with me, like, I don't like to waste time. And he has a desktop and I'm like, maybe it's a physical cable. So I went underneath the desk, I plugged the cable back in. And then on the, on the right hand side, the little red X, I started circling around, then it says uh, identifying network, then it became like a yellow triangle, and then finally it said connected. And then I went and I opened his Outlook, and Outlook was working. And then when he asked me what was the problem, I told him, oh, um, you just, just there, was a, there was no internet on the computer, so basically I, I fixed that. You should be good to go. I didn't, you know, I'm trying not to make it technical as possible. I, I just explained it. It's, his internet wasn't working, so I plugged I plugged the cable. I didn't say that to him. I just said, you know, computer the internet wasn't working, so that was good. Now you should be good to go. If you have any issues, definitely let me know. Um, feel free to reach out to me. Or feel free to reach out to help desk, and we're here to help. So that's an example uh, that you will give to a manager. You know, like a technical manager, because they don't want to hear like they don't want to hear like you go into that you go into the computer. Oh yeah, I plugged in the cat. Cat five cable. I put it back in. Then I type IP config. IP config all, and then this is ten dot whatever you know. And then I, I flush release and renew the IP address. And then you know it, it gets crazy. Like you don't want to do that to the manager. The manager doesn't want to hear that question. They don't want to hear the answer to that question like that. They want to give. You, they want an example. That's the way. You, that's the way you do it. You give them an example because why is that? Why does that work? Because it. it it it, identify, it identifies you as a unique as a unique uh, person trying to apply for the job, so it, it, it actually separates you from everyone else because everyone else will give the same answer. They'll give, oh, I went to I went to CMD, the command prompt, I type IP config, I flush renew release DNS, I went to the cat, I went underneath the table, I grabbed the Cat Five cable, I plugged it in, the computer came up automatically, you know. It, it, it flushed out DNS and then, you know, you, know, you just you start talking like that. He's going to be like, what the hell? Why is he talking like that? You know? Of course, if it's someone like your, that is an HR, like, oh, yeah, um, the computer basically, um, it fell off the network. So uh, what are you talking about? So basically, there's no internet. So it doesn't know what to do. The computer doesn't know what to do. So basically, what I did was I, I, uh, I noticed something was not connected. I plugged it back in and the computer's up and running now. That's all I did. I didn't do anything fancy. I'm not a magician or anything. That's all I did. And um, basically that cable controls the internet. So it's in charge of giving internet to this computer. If that cable is not plugged in, then the computer won't have internet. So oh, the HR, oh, okay, that makes sense. That, make, that makes sense. You know, you don't want to say, oh, you know, I, you know, it's a public IP address or private IP address, send out whatever, you know, it's just like, like this doesn't make any, don't talk like that. It's just... <clears throat> That's not how you do uh, an interview with somebody. You want to give them an example, and you want to be non-technical as possible. Um, remain calm and relaxed, and tell them that, oh, this is how I solved it. This is how I fixed it. This is how I explain it. 
and 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 make it simple as possible, not complicated, because it, it annoys everyone when you're too complicated with everything. So that's the way you answer those technical questions. And they ask you technical questions, you know, and they ask you personality questions. I'm, I'm gonna make a another video on this. I'm gonna make two videos, one on on all technical questions and how I answer them, and I'm gonna make another video on personality questions and how I answer them. So those two videos will be coming up shortly, hopefully by the end of this month. I'm gonna make a video on that, two videos on that, and then hopefully that helps you out when you go on a job and too. Maybe it makes you feel more comfortable. Um, because people get nervous. A lot of people get nervous and do these job interviews, but practice makes perfect. So the more interviews you have with different companies, the better. So then when you go to your next job, you're you're more prepared and ready to answer the question. You're not nervous, you're not shy, and you're more willing to answer the question in a non-technical way. You gotta you gotta separate yourself and make yourself unique from everyone else. You don't wanna answer the question with an IT answer, you know? You wanna separate yourself. So then when they when 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 HR HR or the manager, all of them come together and they're trying to decide who they're gonna hire. They're like, oh yeah, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin was in the office. He answered all the questions, but they were not, they were not technical. He didn't say technical stuff, you know. He actually gave me examples and everything. He was very polite, and he 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 gave me a, an answer that wasn't complicated. I understand what he was talking about. I think we should hire this guy, you know, like something like that. You know, it's just you're not technical, you're not crazy about, you know, answering the IT questions were super technical, because you get super technical, people get annoyed by that, so don't do that. Anyway, this is, I hope this video helps you out. This is, this is basically how I would answer IT questions. It's just like a small video. I'll make a video more in depth later on this month, hopefully. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Um, more videos to come, definitely. I'm enjoying Dallas right now. I'm be with my colleagues from, from Dallas. We're going to have some fun. And uh, I'll see you around. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. Take care. Bye.